Hey buddy, I hope you're doing well. So, properties or fields, what should I use? And do the same job with variables or data fields. Why should I go for properties? But wait, whenever I go for any project, whether it's a small application or a big enterprise application, everywhere I see DTO model entity. Why people are creating properties, not fields? And you know, every time my mind is like this, dude, why they are doing, why they are doing, I can do the same job with fields. Well, there are two reasons, two important reasons that I'm going to tell you. So let me tell you one reason. Come here. Encapsulation. Yes, you heard it right. Object-oriented programming encapsulation. So let me show you all those details and when to use what. So let's go ahead. So here we are in the Visual Studio and we are going to use this console application today and we need also one class library to demonstrate why we need property, right? So I will show you why we need this. So what I will say, I will say, hey, string, you are string and your name is full name, right? And you are the variable. So this is my variable. Now, let's try to understand the key difference. The first difference between property and variable. That can declare variable on the method level and also on the class level. If you try to declare here, you can do that. But if you try to declare property at the method level, you are not allowed to do that. Let me show you. So let's copy paste and try to, you know, declare a property first. I will say, uh, let's change the name and I would say, hey, you are the first name, right? And let's say, get and set so this is my property now let's remove this now you see we can declare here on the class level now let's copy this and paste it on the method level yeah you see even get and sets are not recognized see the same error right so that is the first difference now how about the interface let's try to understand the second difference so what we will do we will create one uh, interface, let's say public and interface. Uh, uh, uh. So let's say you are the interface. I think I messed up. Yes, I messed up. So interface and say, this is just a test interface to understand the concept. I'm taking a very simple example. Okay, so now let's copy this and paste it here. So let's say it allows, yes, interface allows property to be declared here. Now, how about the variables? Let's try to declare variable. Let's paste it. Now, it should not allow. Yes, see, it says interface cannot contain instance fields. That is the other difference between variables and property. That on the interface level, data fields, variables are not allowed. So you have to go for property. Okay, now let's move this back to class since it is not valid there on the interface level. Okay, so this is something that you see the syntax that we have written. It is called auto implemented property or auto implementation property, right? And this syntax is only available after or in C sharp 3.0, right? You can use the same syntax in C sharp 3.0 or on the greater version. But before that, you can't write that syntax. So let's talk about how we were writing before. So let's just copy this and come on the class level. So what we have to do, we have to create this here and we will change this. And you know, before I jump into this, so the other difference between, you know, uh, variable and property is that variables are only meant to store the data. No any logics, no computer logic. If it is string, say this is the value. Full name is this, that's it. You are not allowed to perform any logic, right? For sure, you know, you can do anything. You are not restricted, but there is something called best practices that Microsoft has given to us. So we don't mess any other developers life not our your application life so that's why we follow the best practices right so this property have two methods inside property one is get method second is set method so get is only designed to return you know some of the data on the other side they have separated from get that any logic that you want to assign to that inside set so that is why microsoft has separated get and set right so let's do that so let's do some code formatting. So what I will do, uh, 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 here, go, go down. You also go down. You also go down. Now let's remove this semicolon. And this is now your uh, 
one get method this should be your one get method yeah it will shout as of now because we are not returning anything if you mouse over you will see it says not all code path returns a value so that is why it is shouting okay now let's make this method as well so this is your set method now get is meant to return the data and set is meant to assign some data okay let's declare one variable here so i would say for sure this is private let's say you know this full name right so this is full name we are going to use since this is private let's make it underscore that is something good practice so let's say full name equal to whatever you know value is there so value is like you know argument so whatever you will assign to first name equal to that will come here right this value okay so similar to you know method when you declare a method you assign something like you know string and like test right so that is something this value is but since the syntax is not like that this is property so we don't have to declare any argument in the property when you say value that would be the current pass parameter to this first name okay so now we have set some value value to this full name whatever value is coming and now let's return uh underscore full name right so see it should be happy now but it is not happy because ah so we have to remove this comma actually because yeah now that that is good right so inside get we are returning inside set we are assigning the value now you wanted to perform some addi additional validation logic you can do that for example you wanted to check hey if uh you know string is null or empty let's say null or empty or white space that's this one and that is value the current coming value and let's say you know it should not be empty and null and then only you know uh, 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 assign something right so these kind of logic you can perform inside property right you can do many more uh, things here but remember that that is the difference between method and property so properties are always meant to store lightweight logic don't put whole that method logic you know that 50 to 40 lines of logic inside properties no very lightweight right so you have to identify when there is something called lightweight logic or like a you know, little validation logic go for property otherwise if it's a complex logic don't go for a uh, property go for method right but let's come back to our variable versus property now so this is how you know if i comment this logic this is something additional i have performed but if i don't have any validation logic this is how you know we were writing code before in before c sharp 3.0 we have to declare get and we have to set the value here right now how compiler behaves how compiler write the logic behind the scene so what compiler does you know compiler create uh like this logic let me you know do some commenting and i will say compiler logic right and so let's fix this since this is the name and what they will do here they will create one method and they will make it uh they will call it get right get underscore first name and they will put all the logics here then they will create second method like this right and oh you have to return something for sure otherwise it will keep shouting until you return so let's say this right so get method is returned similar to this now set don't have returned so it should be void right and the name is like set so these are the two things now to support this they also use backing fields what a backing field is so something you know they create private variable here uh like this let's say you are private and you are string for sure and you have to start with underscore because property name was first name so you have to start with underscore and first name and now you are not method more anymore you are property right and you have to set something here right you have to return first underscore first name from here perfect and assign the value here right so here you know uh because you remember in the property you don't want to uh, pass as an argument but since it is a method behind the scene so here would be something called or uh, let's say this is test i'm just using any name you know compiler may use different name right so this would be your test argument right so this is how it works this is how compiler behaves right behind the scene okay so 
let's fix this and let's say control kd for the code formatting and 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 right so i hope you understand you know how this get and set properties works behind the scene okay so with this now we understand that you know uh, to fulfill the encapsulation whenever i wanted to expose something outside of this class this program class or any class where you are working you have to go for property you should not go for variable so microsoft is not restricting but microsoft you know created a different version of variables they are saying if you just have to store the data go for variable but if you wanted to perform some you know computed logic some additional logic go for properties now if you wanted to expose something outside the class go for property don't go for variable what microsoft is saying dude i have only introduced variable for internal purpose that's it i have designed something property go for that if you wanted to expose outside this class right okay now second thing when we are designing our models we often see that you know that get set lot of get set right first name last name and blah and blah right so everything is there so now you know people think even you know after this that Microsoft is saying this and that that go for property not variables but still there is a confusion dude if my microsoft .net my visual studio my compiler is allowing me why should not i use property why should i use variables right or maybe vice versa right so there is a other reason so there is something called breaking change so now there is a born of this birth of this class library test class library so what i have done here i have created you know see one class called car right so what i will do i will create uh let's say you know of a property uh what i should do that let's say uh, uh public and i would say you know a uh, string and let's say car model right so i would say hey car a uh, 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 model and i say you know i want to do create variable why because i can do same job with property and class so let's you know a uh, 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 clean let's not clean let's come back here on the main method and say this is my class right let's create the object of the class let's say where uh this is just object name and random name i am adding so equal to new and class name all right so that's it now i can for sure you know obj dot uh, car model let's say uh, uh, uh let's say you know test 1 2 3 is the model name right semicolon and now let's console dot print right console dot write line now what i have to do here uh 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 so you here you go now let's run it so let's see what would be the output okay here you go test 1 2 3 now i wanted to change to property let's see what happen now so get and set right now oh for sure i have to remove this okay now let's go and and run this so let's see what happens oh same thing that is the you know where everyone get confused right so one thing i have already answered now let's focus on the other point so if you notice we are using this class library right you won't face this issue when you are working in the same project same solution where you are building everything all together right so let's imagine you are working there are two different teams right one team is working on this project and this these two projects right now it is inside visual studio but let's imagine, imagine these are not into same solution right you are working on this solution which is just this class library other people are working over this solution which is this code this console app right now initially what you thought that you know i would go for just property or maybe vice versa let's say you know you thought that i will create everything a uh, variable right now let's build this first right let's build this application and for sure you know it will work now let's say you wanted to change this right change this to a uh, property now this application is consuming this test class library right what i do since you are just working on this class library not this you are saying that you know i am rebuilding this right only just this library not this one perfect now what will happen uh let's go back here let's go to bin or uh, debug dot net core 3 and copy this library and open other folder also so what i will do uh, uh window e here you go and 
here we will go to uh, the main application let's say this was the second application right let's go to bin debug dotnet core app 3.1 here right so this application get latest from your code which was this right all your changes and add here right so they replace the library right so let's replace the library now let's try to execute this application we are not going to touch visual studio because you know if i do with visual studio this itself capable of rebuilding everything whole application right then you know our concept will fail okay now let's open a command prompt so i will say command prompt and what i need i need to go to my d drive so let's ah oh, wrong path so i have to say d drive yeah here i am now copy this in the d now let's paste it and before that i believe i have to say cd right so let's go inside this mm. Here you go okay we are here now let's just press tab okay so this is jason this is dgl this is i wanted to perform let's execute you see it start throwing error it says unheard exception field not found you see field not found that means it is still expecting this as a field so that means the other application where you are referring they care what was this before if it was field i need field you can't go and change directly if you wanted to change you have to recompile everything right the client application as well where this model is being referenced if you are not compiling the whole application the other client application this application will crash this is a breaking change now same thing can also happen with variables so let me so we have to for sure you know compile everything first let's compile that now if i try to run the same logic since everything is compiled client application and you know the other application it should work now so you see test one two three four right now it is compiled with property now let me make it variable right now what i will do the same job i will just compile this not the other app and i will perform the same operation again now i will go to test class library copy this and paste it inside the other application which is here so let's paste it perfect okay now try to run that so it should give me different error this time okay you see method not found when i changed from property to variable it says method not found but before it was saying field not found right so that is the other reason that you know you should not think that i will change it later whenever i need so you have to take this use case also in your mind okay i hope this concept is clear now and you're not going to forget now anytime that's all for today video i will see you in the next video bye bye